$20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details, U.S. only. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There's a comic, uh, her name is Kylie Brakeman, and she just posted a funny video where she's acting out some of the creepy DMs she gets from random guys. Hello, sweet baby. I am a sugar daddy wanting to spoil you rotten in my house in Van Nuys. I can pay 50 a month. No shoes. Hello, young lady. Here is my height, age, and ethnicity in all caps. Let me buy you dinner, my queen. Ah! Hello there. I saw your recent tweet, and I have some notes. Let me know your email so I can send you voice recordings of my punch-ups. And while we're on the subject, feet, feet, send me feet. Hello there. Love your stuff. Just wondering. Haha, this is so random, but what shampoo do you use? Haha. And could you put a little bit of it in your hand? hand and send me a picture haha <laughs> sorry if this is random okay thank you beautiful angel feet 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 i need feet give me feet well, i don't appreciate her sending out me enacting my feet messages i've sent her i, I know feet. those are private i just like feet i mean what do you want from me feet 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 <laughs> feet 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 give me feet the, the lotion one is really creepy because yeah, that- i know exactly what that person is trying to recreate like as if like he's pulling a quick one over her yeah like, yeah squirt some lotion in your hand and yeah. just take a picture of that yeah yeah because it's your shampoo i want to know about your shampoo oh, yeah. right shampoo. you're my yeah. favorite comic yeah, Sarah told me she got uh, she got a pretty creepy uh, Ooh, message recently. Sarah, come in here. Yeah, oh. I, these are like sometimes we get, I'll get messages. I'm like, what is this person thinking? Like, why are they even sending this? You know what I mean? But it's never on the level of what a female has to endure. Like, exactly, it's, it's never like sexually creepy. It's just weird. And you're just like. Why did you think hitting send after writing that was a good idea? Oh, you know, men in their and men in their sex drives. You know, nothing's ever a good idea. You get, you know, you make a lot of bonehead decisions based on that. <laughs> oh, speaking of bonehead, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? Oh, hi. Let's talk about some of the boneheads that are writing you. Yeah, uh, this was yesterday, and. I mean, it definitely is kind of creepy, but it's more of an offer. He wants to pay me money to cuddle him, and he would pay me two hundred dollars an hour. Two hundred dollars an hour just to cuddle. Yes. I mean, that's what he says. Welcome to Sarah's Cuddle Puddle. Hey. <laughs> but he knows I have a boyfriend, so he wanted me to ask J-Rubs if it was okay. Did, did you run that by J-Rubs? I, yeah, I did, actually. Well, what did J-Rubs yeah, have to say? say? Well, first, Can he was I like, join? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, babe, we should offer you two and, like, up the price. Because, you know, he could be the biggest spoon of that whole Cuddle Puddle. Right. But he was at first like, who is this guy and how much is he asking? And then I told him and he was like, he was blown away. Like, his eyes got huge. And he was like, a guy would pay that much for you to cuddle him? Right. He's and I was like, like, I get that for free. Yeah. And sometimes I don't even want it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want it, like, almost all the time. Let's right, get real. Right. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, babe, you better appreciate me cuddling you now, because this is worth some cash. $200 an hour. Right. $200 yeah. an hour. But then I was asking, like, eight hours sleep. 
I mean, right? forget about it. j Rob's better get a second job. He better. I was like, can I, can we fall asleep during this? Like, one of my friends was like, you need a contract if you're going to do it because what is the cuddling? At, you, you know? You yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the guy, I mean, he's going to cuddle and then he's going to try and yeah, I was see like, how far he can cuddle. I thought about it. I would be better if I was the big spoon. Yes. Because then nothing is touching. Or, right. You know, it can't. And uh, he needs to be, like, tied up. And not in like a fun way, like no. just yeah. like no, your hands do not go anywhere. Hands stay here. I like that yeah. we're figuring out a best way to handle this. I like situation. her friends. A contract will yep. stop a crazy person, right? Like, yeah. Sir, it's not in the contract. What are you stop doing, touching sir? Me. Why are you doing bad things to me? It's not in the yeah. Yeah, and then they were like, you should at least ask for five hundred dollars an hour, and they have to pay up front. Oh, see, yep. I need I need help with this. Yeah. Yeah. You might even want to hold their license, too, while you're at it. I don't know why. You understand it. seems that, more official. Yeah, yeah. All these rules mean you really don't want to do this. No. Yeah, it's really what like, you know, It doesn't matter how many rules you make. You really just don't want to do this. Just laying there for an hour just seems so awkward. Like, do you talk? Do you, you know? I don't, yeah. I, I got to stroke his hair. Oh. Wow. Give him a little massage. Scratch mm-hmm. his back. It, it's an interesting proposal because i feel like and i could be wrong maybe his intentions are of the purest but i feel like his hope is that once you start cuddling with him he's just so irresistible with how he is that you're gonna want to do more that's my guess well yeah i guess i don't know i have never proposed to if, cuddle with someone for money. If you, you never really, ask someone yourself. But no. You can go to a massage therapist if you really, really don't want anything sexual to happen and pay you, a lot less money to be, you know, to have somebody touch you. But he wants to cuddle. Yeah. You can't cuddle with your massage therapist. No, uh, yeah, I suppose. But you're still getting human touch. You're getting, you know, I mean, you get to actually be completely naked on the thing and yeah, have, but, you know, skin on skin contact like that, which is, I mean, you know. But, but not the skin that you want if you're cuddling. Like, I mean, I think he wants more than just a back rub. Oh, he wants yeah. to be able to just like yeah. full on just embrace. He's hoping this is a gateway to. Oh, see, I'd rather not. I, I I would take the massage so much over cuddling at this point. <laughs> there I'm are actually, professional cuddlers use. out there. I think it was in Portland, but there are like actual websites where you can become a professional cuddler, like CuddleComfort.com. But you got to keep your clothes on with those sites. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, yeah. So, I mean, to me, it's like... Well, he didn't say that he wants her naked. I would keep my clothes on. That's what I mean. Oh, I but think, what if he didn't? I mean, a woman uh, rubbing uh, you down as opposed to just hugging somebody in their clothes? I would take the woman rubbing me down any day of the week. So it says you guys think this dude's a listener and feels super awkward right now, LOL? Hope if so. he does, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, an uh, odd, it's, an, it's an odd thing to ask somebody who has a, re- in a relationship. You yeah. made it weird, sir. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not going to feel bad for goofing on this dude. And I'm a female. Of course, I got to run it by all my females. Don't think I didn't send a screenshot of what you <laughs> Look like to all of them, right? So and could, then you got to run it by the BJ Mix crew. Yeah. True. Like, oh, I told my dad immediately. <laughs> dad, yeah. you don't believe this. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised yeah, BJ's so isn't for this because cuddling is considered a form of therapy. Well, he's not hoping that his daughter's a therapist all of a sudden. Well, I mean, she'd be a doctor, right? You can call yeah. yourself a doctor. Oh, yeah. Doc- <laughs> Dr. Ratchet. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Ratchet. Dr. Ratchet. There was would... Nurse Ratchet. Why not Dr. Ratchet? Yeah, right? Huh? Hi, I'm Dr. Cuddlebutts. Yeah. <laughs> Cuddlebutts. <laughs> I don't know if I like that one as much. No. Yeah. I do. So yeah, you know, Tex, you have to understand something. Uh, the women in our business, and probably any entertainment business, just like Kylie Brakeman, how we started this, they get inundated with stuff like this. People who don't, they don't know. You know, they, they may know Kylie and they may know Sarah and Vicky and like that. But, you know, Vicky and, Ky- and, and Kylie and Sarah do not know these people. And so random people and a lot of random people will send messages like this. And, you know, it is, so, yeah, we're going to talk about it because you don't normally get this in your life. A normal human being doesn't get a random stranger going, hey, could I pay you to dollars to cuddle me like if somebody came up to you at a target as you're just pulling your card out and you all be done your and there's you you and your kid can i cuddle you for two hundred dollars please i mean i'm sure the guy that sent the pic that said hey can you send a picture of you holding shampoo squirted into your hand well, but that's such an innocent thing oh, i don't understand yeah. why you're making this awkward that is okay now, i'm that not I gonna would... lie i didn't get that at all yeah. <laughs> i was like i would totally do that you know, it looks like a now i thing. understand yeah. once you were like <laughs> i know what he's trying to do but my dumb ass was like oh i don't see what's wrong with that so how much would you take for that <laughs> So yeah, what, so what's it cost for you to get shampoo? Well, this guy, two hundred bucks. Sure, why not? Uh, two hundred bucks for Sarah. Two hundred bucks. Picture. I'll put shampoo in my face. Right? Oh, whoa! I mean, well, I do it every day anyway. Yeah, 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 but see, I don't think that's the picture I, I mean, want. No, that's no. but yeah. that's what we should do from Steve, now on. Whenever just, they ask for something, I recreate what they wanted you to do. <gasps> yeah, Steve, just follow directions. As far as I'm concerned, feet, feet, feet. Yeah, that's feet, all feet, I want feet, from you. Right. Steve's feet, feet, feet. Well, something that they buy like I, 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 one of my favorite things to do on Instagram is whenever like a female that I follow, like a wrestler or whoever maybe post like a, an attractive picture i'm like gotta read the comments because 
Some people don't even care about going direct message. They just say the most inappropriate stuff via comments. Yeah. And I was looking at um, uh, Paige, who used to wrestle with the WWE by an injury, cut her career short. But she posted a picture. It's a really cool picture about how two years of her being sober, how she looked two years ago and how she looks now. And it's like a cool before and after. Like, she looks healthier. She looks happier. And she's just talking about how, like, she's very proud that, you know, she seems more full of life now in her pictures and things are better. And somebody actually commented, goes, I like the way you looked two years ago better. And I'm just like, you know, because you were drunk and made bad decisions. Like, it just wasn't necessary. Like, I mean, even if you thought that, why even share that with somebody? Because, yeah, you know, because Internet. I know. I know. It's just like somebody. (laughs) You're right, though. Like, you could think it all you want, but what's what's the point? And it's something you would never say to somebody's face unless you were completely an idiot. Right. And even like she wrote, you like me better when I looked like a drunken mess. And it's like, yeah. Like, even someone said, you look so much more beautiful back then, but I will say, keep up the good work. Well, thanks. You're yeah. a real charmer. You look so much b- more beautiful back then. Which is the before and after? That's the before, the left. Where oh, she wow. Looked. They think that she looks beautiful there? You're right. She looks much more healthy. And like, like that, that after picture does completely look like she's got her act together. And she does look healthier. She looks faded in that first picture. Well, because like, she was. I mean, she's clearly wow, not, that's not what, sober in that picture. And a guy is like, is, I mean. I, I don't understand why people think that uh, wow. that's like the thing to do. Wow. That's just how people are. I can't yeah, believe that's right. the same person, actually. Yeah. Wow, that's a that is a radical change. I think it's all about the negging. They think that works. Make I've, you feel like crap so that you're like more attracted oh, to them. Yeah, I've had okay. that. They're like, you're not even that cute. I'm like, thanks, man. You make me feel great. And they're Steve. like, oh, I didn't think you'd reply to me. Oh, I, like I love you so much. Vicky doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, Meanwhile, your feet are ugly. Don't even bother sending them to anybody. <laughs> okay. He wants your feet. Yeah. He wants your feet. Feet, <laughs> feet, feet, feet. Ugly, feet, ugly, feet, ugly. Feet, feet, feet. Ugly, feet. ugly, ugly. I still say go. if anyone offers you ladies money for pictures of your feet, just use. I'll give you pictures of my feet, and we'll get. I'll take ten percent. Okay, deal. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Hey, I went on on this deal. Oh, you want? To, okay. All uh, right. So if someone hits you up wanting pictures of your feet, Rev, I'll give you pictures oh, of my feet, and I, I want ten percent. <laughs> all I want is Steve's feet. I don't care how it happens. <laughs> feet, feet, feet. All right. That's all. I, <laughs> work feet, it out feet, how feet. you're going to work it out. Did guys. not work out the way I wanted it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so since Steve, I know this is random. What kind of body wash do you use? <laughs> Can you send me a picture of shaving cream on your feet? Ha ha. <laughs> that now that is the ultimate request. Sixty nine right bucks. Venmo me. Nice. Oh yeah, that's the ultimate request. Thank you. My wife's like, what are you doing in the bathroom? Taking pictures of my feet. Yeah, leave me alone. I'm making money. You want some nice blinds, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> they say budget blinds, but they really aren't. Yeah. <laughs> These are the blind makers right here, baby. <laughs> we got a man that got arrested. Why? Well, he didn't use shampoo. Um, no, he actually covered himself in ranch dressing. Was this Danny? Yes. Danny loves ranch. That's Danny stream. Yes, it is. So a man gets arrested for covering himself in ranch dressing. Oh, yeah. It's these and all the important stories that Steve will tell you all about. He's got the mix report for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. $20 million. $19 million. $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. 99.9 KISW The Rock of Seattle. If you're hearing an informative newscast right now, well, then you must not be listening to BJ and Migs. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is The Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys, and thanks to Kia Puyall for giving us The Migs Report. And it's a special day, although I don't know how we're going to celebrate it. Someone needs to step it up here. Today's National Office Chocolate Day. 
Ooh, we need some chocolate, man. Well, uh, I know that uh, Thrill's got a stash of uh, chocolate cookies and stuff, so maybe we can Ooh, dip into that. Happen. Well, you know what? That sounds like a plan. Yeah. He also has some Oreo cookies. That's chocolate? Yes. They might or chocolate might not flavored. be kind of stale. Not that I've tried them recently. <laughs> but <laughs> All right. There's some chocolate right there. Okay. It is not National Ranch Dressing Day, unfortunately, oh. Danny. Uh, and also, unfortunately, for a guy in Topeka, Kansas. Ah, oh, Topeka. Who uh, apparently was naked at a convenience store and covered himself in ranch dressing. Ah, oh, that guy's living. Sounds about right. Instead of me describing the story, I always like it when the local TV news report, you know, the anchors have to discuss and share the news of a man naked wearing nothing but ranch dressing. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office is investigating after a man caused a scene at a local business. It happened at Petro's Deli in Topeka. This was in the early morning hours, right around 3.30 or so. Deputies say they responded to a call about a disturbance. They found a 17-year-old man naked, covering himself in ranch dressing and causing damage to that business. Authorities say they believe he was under the influence. Really? He left the deli, but then crashed his car into a pillar close by. He was taken into custody and then to the hospital, where he was released to his parents. I'm guessing it wasn't alcohol. I think uh, young Jimmy tried acid for the first time. Yeah, you might be right wow. about that. And left his buddy's house and decided, I need to wear some dressing. Yeah. <laughs> this will protect me. So many questions. Do you, think the, uh, do you think the damage done at the convenience store was like him breaking stuff or the damage was just all the ranch dressing all over the floor? Ooh, that's a tough one. I, f- I think that ranch dressing, if he got it everywhere, that's yeah. a lot of damage. Yeah. And how awkward is that conversation with mom and dad when they pick you up? Uh, oh yeah. Do you wait till the next day to talk to talk to him? I don't know. I'd rather be high at that point. I think well, I want sure to get it over. Would. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather get it over with immediately. But for them, you don't say a word. You just go keep him in the just keep him in jail. We'll talk to you in the morning. Yeah. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, probably not. I wouldn't want him. To, I I'd, I'd tell him to keep him over. Keep him. Can keep him two couple more days. He's obviously got issues. I mean, I, I think we've all done a lot of stupid things, but I've never gone to the point where I was naked dousing myself in ranch dressing. That's because you didn't try hard enough. You haven't lived, Steve. You're right. You know what? <laughs> the Sounders win the championship this year. Danny, oh, right. you All know, right. in the past I've done champagne Woo. showers with E. Ted Smith. Sure. You and me. We're doing ranch dressing showers. I agree to this 100%. Can we, we so squirt it all over each other? Let's, let's do it in slow motion. Yeah, let's be careful with the word showers, okay? I'm, I'm just getting the Check out Steve's OnlyFans. Exactly. That's right. Uh, yep. <laughs> for $6.99 a month. Uh, so you get to watch Danny and I squirt you, ranch dressing on each other. What are you going to be, other. the Hidden Valley Kanye's? Is that pretty much what's going to happen? Pretty much, okay, yes. Okay, great. That's yeah. wonderful. That's actually the name of our uh, rap group, Hidden Valley. <laughs> oh, Hidden Valley. <laughs> Mixed tape dropping soon. <laughs> okay. Where's the ranch? Uh, this guy is an oh this gal is an idiot. Uh, she is a bus driver and decided to be drunk while driving kids. That's on the bus. That's idiocracy right there. It's happened in upstate New York. But here's the part that's just even more ridiculous. Uh, her name's Lashonda. She's 29 years old, and well, she decided to take the kids to McDonald's for breakfast because well, she was hungry. Okay, I like that idea, but do it sober. Yeah, I don't know if she was treating though. Oh. She just said, hey, we're going to stop at McDonald's quick. Don't tell anybody. Still, if I'm a kid, I am still think it's a great deal. But again, I want my driver to be sober. There were just, just six students. But man, that could have been a lot worse. If, you yeah. Know, yeah. Well, she brought two of the students into the restaurant to pick up the breakfast. Uh, and yet, uh, finally, the like, cop showed up. She failed the sobriety test. And she's in a lot of trouble. Did they ask the important question? What did she get? Yeah, McDonald's. That's I mean, that's, McGriddle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. McGriddles are so good. I want one now. I love them. Yes, they have two games for Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football! Do you football. call it Monday Night Football when the game starts at 1 in the afternoon? That's a really good point. Monday it, Afternoon Football? Because it's still starting yeah. early enough in the day on the East Coast as well. Yeah, you're right. Four? So, uh, I'm not sure what you call it at that point. Early yeah. bird, yeah. night football. Yeah, I don't know. Really well, Kansas City beat the Bills. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> sorry, Buffalo. 26 to 17. And then the second game was the Cardinals taking on the Cowboys, and Kyler Murray and the Cardinals look really good. They uh, beat the Dakless Cowboys. 38 to 10 up next for them of course is the Seattle Seahawks so that's we'll see right how things go with that I don't know if you were watching the game at all but there was one moment during the game that might have been one of the funniest things I've seen they, they, they take a shot of the crowd because there's some people in the audience or in the audience in the stands okay and there's this one really sad Cowboys fan trying to be consoled by his girlfriend oh. who he's just got his hand between his his head between his hands and she's just giving him like little girlfriend kisses like oh Aww. that's really sweet of her and I mean, he wants nothing to do with it <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, it's already a rough season, it's only, and it's only week six. Yeah, and they were looking, like, people were looking forward to this because of, you know, obviously the COVID and all the, and, and to have your quarterback be gone and your season be gone, I know how that dude's feeling. 
And, I mean, Ezekiel Elliott, he fumbled a few times during the game, twice in the first half, so some people weren't happy. Well, he has a total that. of five fumbles in five games this season. Okay, then. And then, uh, I don't know if you watched any of the game. Did you, Danny, I know you hate the Cowboys, so you probably found great great uh, humor in this. Uh, you know, you have Andy Dalton as our quarter, quarterback, who's not a bad quarterback. I actually right. watched the first pass that he threw, uh, or one of the first, I think it was either his first pass or one of the first passes that he threw. It was like as if he was just targeting one of the guys on the Cardinals. Like oh, he yeah. threw it straight into the hands yeah. of of Jordan Hicks. And I don't know which was worse, the pass or the attempt at catching that ball that Jordan Hicks. It went right to him and he dropped the ball. Oh, that's a beating. That is when you when you miss up a free interception like that, that sucks. Well, and the funny thing was I watched the game because we're playing the Cardinals next, so I was like, I want to see if the Cardinals are actually gonna be decent. And you're scouting for the Seahawks right. these days. I am. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, on, on the side, they don't know on about side, it. Yeah, oh. yeah. So at that point I was like, I don't know if the Cowboys are just so terrible or if the Cardinals are actually any good. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I think it was I think Cardinals are pretty good and I think the Cowboys have already melted in oh, yeah. uh, at, at this point. It's, it's kinda done. It felt that way. At yeah. Least. yeah, that's. I mean, look, it sucks, dude. If, if it happened to us, I mean, it would be tough for us. I know we just the next man up, but next man up after Russell. Sorry, I mean, I don't even know who it is. <laughs> it's still Geno Smith. Oh, is it Geno? Oh, okay, sorry, yeah. Geno. Honestly, I mean, I have <laughs> because he never misses a game, so it's like I can't really. I don't know who the hell we have. As far as uh, baseball tonight, yes. we've got the World Series. Woo! It all begins. Who's excited? I'd rather dr- douse myself in ranch dressing personally, okay. but right. no, I'm kidding. Uh, you got the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Game one tonight on Fox. As far as weather, 55 degrees. Thank you, Mercedes Mercedes Benz of Seattle, for the major report. And that's what's up. That's what's up. I, yeah, I, um, I, I don't have a lot of interest in it. I mean, I think it's for both teams. It's a cool thing. Of course, for the Dodgers, will they finally do it? And for the I Rays. Hope so. I, I don't know if they've got the lowest payroll, but they got to be in the bottom five. And for a team with the bottom five payroll to win the World Series is always a good, you know, a good stick in the face of teams like the Dodgers, Red Sox, and Yankees that spend a lot of money. It, is, it really is because the Dodgers are one of the highest paid teams. Right. And the Rays are the lowest paid team. So that's actually kind of drama in itself. It's sort of like, for, you know, it's the, it's the high class versus the low class when it comes to money. <laughs> the high class multi multi millionaires versus the low class multi multi millionaires. I want, you know, I wonder how many of those raised guys are making like you know six seven figures like you say, Steve. It would be interesting to see. Right, I feel, I feel for some of those guys, you know, struggling, paying, you know, their bills and making high five figures, making like five hundred ninety thousand dollars a year. Yeah, you I, know, they're I, paying. It, it's hard for me to watch them endure what they have to endure playing a sport. Yeah, I know, I know it's tough for you. But I know you. I just wonder how they're going to get their bills paid. I'm thinking about starting a GoFundMe for some of these guys. Oh yeah, some of those raised guys. You're right, dude. Because they're only, some of them might only be making mid six figures. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you got to help them out. Struggle's real, man. <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> the struggle is indeed <laughs> real. Uh, hey, your favorite new show, the Kelly Clarkson show. I, I don't hate it, but I've never watched it. <laughs> I look. I, I like I, Kelly Clarkson I, a lot. I don't mean to be mean, and oh, I really don't oh, because because I, I like Kelly Clarkson Wait, a lot too. Whenever you preface something by saying I don't mean to be mean, means that you're about to be mean. Yeah. Yes, I'm about <laughs> to say some critical stuff, but I really don't mean it to be mean spirited. I just think that. If she's not Kelly Clarkson, she doesn't get that job because she's just not as good as as some of the other. Like Ellen well, can be said about anyone. Ellen had a f- successful television career before she was a talk show host. Probably would have never been hired if she wasn't successful at television before that. As and she wasn't a talk show host. See, for, for me, you got to start somewhere, Beach. I think that Ellen though was she was she was good at basically doing monologues and the spoken word. And Kelly's a singer, so I don't know if the singing ability translates to doing a talk show. I feel, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I think if you you did spoken word comedy or whatever, which is what Ellen started with, where you have to riff, you know, basically mm-hmm. a lot, you would have a better shot at being a talk show. So when I heard Ellen was getting a show, I thought she'd probably be good at it because she did stand up comedy. That seems to translate better. But I don't know about a singer doing it is my is that's my thing. But personality is personality. If she's got, I mean, if she's a fun loving person, like, you know, when you've seen her on American Idol and other shows where she has a good rapport with people and she's very likable. I mean, why not give her a shot? She, yeah, of course she's got a name. That's what got her a foot in the door. But now it's up to her to to keep the job. So, do you think she does a good job? I think she's doing a phenomenal job on a show I've never watched. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. See, I do. I've, have I've you watched, watched the show? Yeah, I've watched a couple, and I'm just like, eh. what are you they're sitting there? You're like getting mad. You're eating your Oreo cookies, and you're like, I could do this better. <laughs> Okay, there may have been a little bit of that in there. There's no doubt about it. These damn this American Idol chick all of a sudden getting all the gigs. If I was a talented young woman, I'd have that same shot. 
Um, yeah. I, uh, but, you well, know. Maybe we should watch it for a week and, and have a Kelly Clarkson break every morning. No, good luck with that. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you do that. Uh, no, we. What part of we is the part where I'm not me. involved? That's the part that oh, I want to. Yeah. There. Well, anyway, uh, Kelly has a show, so she gets people on there. And uh, this is at least cool because she. I believe that's her mission statement. Yeah, at least, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I can get people on because I got a show. But, I mean, this was cool because she did talk about what, how she was once mistaken for Carrie Underwood, which is so bizarre because I know they were both on American Idol, but they look nothing alike. Different hair color, completely different looks. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yet she was mistaken for Carrie Underwood, and so she said, well, you know what, I'm going to sign at Carrie Underwood anyway because she didn't want to make the fan feel bad or disappoint them. So that was uh, that was cool. I do not look like this person. This girl came up to me and was like, oh, my God, your song, So Small, is one of my favorites. And I kept thinking, I don't have a song so small. And then she said another song, and I was like, oh, you think I'm Carrie Underwood? And I was like, and I literally look nothing like Carrie Underwood. And and then I I was so embarrassed for it that I just, she was like, can you sign this? And I totally signed Carrie Underwood. (laughs) I think that might be legal. And they were on different seasons of American Idol. Yes. So I don't, I, I, have both of them at least been on The Voice maybe? Well, I'm not sure, but they're both just American Idol stars. Yeah. It's and so bizarre. they're both yeah. country, they've both done the country thing, I believe. Yeah. Has Kelly done the country thing? Maybe I not. You're yeah, probably, I didn't yeah. know Kelly did country. But they both did American Idol. That's probably where I it know all you're starts trying. And ends. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's the only confusion there could be because Kelly's guest was Kirby Enthusiasm Cheryl Hines, and Cheryl said she once got confused, but hers makes sense because she does look a little bit like Modern Family's Julie Bowen. So that I can understand. I was on a plane and this person came up and said, oh my gosh, I love you. And I said, that's so nice. Thank you. And they said, I love Modern Family. And I said, I, I said, I do too. And they said, can I get my picture with you, Julie Bowen? And I was like, uh, yes. Yeah, what are you going to do at that point? You know, I mean, yeah, just I'm, sign it. I mean, that happened to me one time. Somebody because they thought I was Miles, and so they go, "You guys in the men's room are great, Miles." And I'm like, "Well, you know," but I'm, so I signed it. I signed. Did people. you sign Miles? I did. I felt like, well, you know, I mean, he likes the he likes the men's room, likes the guys, and if he Close thinks he met Miles, why not? People have asked to get pictures with me, thinking I was Ted. So I just go, hey, man, and then it works. <laughs> Do you tell them how sausages are fantastic? <laughs> yep, sausages are awesome. It's so funny because one time I, on Snapchat, somebody, like, I was at some event or something like that, and then I go on my Snapchat and I check and the guy tagged me. It's like, it was awesome hanging out with Thrill. And it's a picture of me <laughs> and him. <laughs> but he tagged at I'm Steve Mig. So I'm like, this is confusing me on so many levels. Oh, and I yeah. realized the guy was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> None of this makes sense to that, him, but yeah. that's fine. That makes a lot of sense. That's fine. So my question is, when people uh, confuse you for Gary Ridgeway, do you sign Gary or BJ? <laughs> Oh, clearly the Ridge. Okay, cool. The Ridge. The Ridge. I like no. that. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah, know we had a nickname. Name. The Ridge. Yeah. 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 Okay. SK forever. Serial killer forever. <laughs> SK forever. Yeah. Wow, you and Danny are the a great Ridge. comedy team. You guys ought to go on the road. We are. We're yeah. Hidden yeah. Valley. Yeah, Didn't you hear us road. earlier? <laughs> yeah. Mixtape <laughs> dropping 2021. Yeah. I just keep going on the road. Keep going. We'll, we'll, we'll get keep, back. Well, to remember that time we were at the radio convention and there were a, a, a group of drunk women that were convinced that I was Chris Daughtry. Yeah. And yeah, that was our friends awesome. Ace and TJ they were there, the radio guys. I remember it was Ace that came over and was like, Steve, you got to come over here with me. I'm like, okay. He's like, just just go along with it. I'm like, what? What? And he's like, just go along with it. I'm like, wasted. So I'm like, sure. He's like, ladies, Chris Daughtry. And I'm like, what? And they were pumped. And we're taking pictures and having drinks, having a great time. And the whole time, I'm just laughing inside of my head like, they're going to wake up tomorrow and realize really quickly how wrong they were. Yeah, they like, are. That I look nothing like that guy. Yeah. But you know what? When you're drinking, you, you, you kind of do look like, uh, you know, well, and you were mistaken for Vin Diesel's, uh, you know, a problematic uh, cousin. Yes. One time at the airport. That's yeah, true. There's a lot of people that pe- they think you if look like. you're just like, bald, yeah. you look like a celebrity that's bald. That's it. Unless, of, unless of course, you got that Kelly Clarkson lady who it doesn't matter what you look like, they're going to just say, hey, Carrie. I just like, like I don't even have a song called that. Okay, whatever. And then oh yeah, Carrie Underwood. That yeah, that is amazing to me because yeah, I know they were on the same show, but it was different seasons, and they look nothing alike. But Chris brings up a good point. Imagine the rarity of that signature, Carrie Underwood, signed by Kelly Clarkson. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I agree. 
Yeah, yeah, now that you have that story, if you verify it, that you're absolutely right. That is a cool autograph. Have you ever done that, though, where you thought you met somebody and you realized that it wasn't that person? Because I think about when I was a kid, I was a teenager, and I loved the band Living, the band Living Color, yeah. you know, called The oh, Personality. Yeah. And I was at a shopping mall in Brooklyn called King's Plaza, and one of the guys was at the mall. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's the dude from Living Color. But I got so nervous, I went up there, and I completely said the wrong name. So it was oh. the basis of my skillings. And I said, Vernon Reed, I love Living Color. He's the guitarist. And he just kind of looks at me he's like, thanks. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's Vernon Reed. And he goes, dude. And he looks down on his jacket that says Muzz on it. Because he's got like an embroidered jacket. That's, yeah. that's, he's like, I'm Muzz, not Vernon. And I'm like, I'm an idiot. And he just laughed. And, you know, it was, it was fine. But like at the moment, I was yeah. just like. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a tool. That is pretty bad when there's a name on the jacket. I was yeah. just so like starstruck. I, I was can, like, you know I never met a celebrity at that. Like almost never, except for I, Billy Joel, and he told me to F off. I'm just bad with celebrities as a kid. Maybe that ha- maybe that's what happened to that woman then. She just was so starstruck and just thought, oh, and just said the wrong name and the wrong yeah, songs. Sure it's possible. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'll give her that. You know, <laughs> only because of your story. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think people could be that dumb, but now I'm realizing <laughs> the mud killings effect. Yeah, that's what it is. Yesterday, Muzz over here did get this one right. On which planet did the spacecraft Venus 8 land in 1972? Venus? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I I just love how you thought, no way this can be right, but I have to say it, right? Is this a trick question? Yeah. Every once in a while, Rev throws those in there. You want a shot at beating Steve? Maybe you'll get one of those easy questions. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. I owe a lot of back taxes. Can bankruptcy help me? Bankruptcy can discharge back taxes under certain circumstances. Some types of taxes are never dischargeable, like if you have taxes from an employee, if you ran a business and didn't pay employee taxes or sales taxes, those types of taxes cannot be discharged in bankruptcy. However, most people don't have those kind of taxes. Most people have just regular income taxes. If you owe income taxes and you filed your tax returns but just weren't able to pay the taxes, if the taxes are more than three years old and you filed the tax returns, those types of taxes taxes can be discharged in bankruptcy uh, in most circumstances, especially through a Chapter 13 case. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Thanks for listening. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.